This is a quick video on how to change file associations in Microsoft Vista. What this video will show you how to do is change which program opens when you click on a file. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up a folder with a file in it. So in order to find out which program is going to open this file right here, musings.odt, I'm going to right click it and go to properties. And when I go to properties, you'll see in the general tab right here, it there is a category opens with and right now it opens with WordPad which isn't going to work because this is an open office document so I'm gonna click cancel here go back to the document right click it and just scroll down here to open with and I'm gonna click S writer which is the open office word processing program so I'm going to click that and you can see it opens correctly I'm going to close it now that's just a temporary fix because if I scroll back here to the document, right click on the document again, click properties, you can see that it still opens with WordPad. So let me cancel this. What we're, want, what we're going to want to do is change the default program. So every time a .odt, any file with .odt is going to open with openoffice.org writer. So I right click, go to open with, and I'm going to click on choose default program and I have some options up here. I want S Writer. That's the word processing program from OpenOffice. And you can see the file opens again, which is a little annoying. But if I go back here, right click and click Properties, you can see now this is the default program. It's also the default program for all files with .odt extensions. <clears throat> so not only did I change it for this one, I changed it for every one on this computer. So what I'm going to do now is show you how to work this universally on your computer without going to each file, but to change it for all the files on your computer through Control Panel. So I'm in Control Panel right now, and you go to this icon right here, Default, Pro Default Programs, and just click on that. You can also access it, this through the Start menu. And when I open this, I get this screen right here. And I'm going to want to click on this option here, associate a file type or protocol with a program. So I click on this, and this screen comes up. And this has every single file type on your computer that you can change a program association with. So, <clears throat> for example, if it's a dot ac3 file it's going to open with vlc media player what i'm going to do is go to jpeg files because that's the one people are telling me they're having the most problems with when they click on the file they want their photo editing software to come up unfortunately a lot of times they're getting the windows default or a different program so i'm going to show you how to change those so that you can get your photo editing software up instead of the either default one or one you don't want. So right now I'm going to scroll to the JPEG files and these are listed in alphabetical order and you just scroll on the right over here. So I scroll to the JPEG files and you see we got a little bit of a mess here. We've got two types of JPEG files opening with Windows Photo Gallery right here and then another <coughs> JPEG file type opening with Picture Movie and let's say I like Windows Photo Gallery and I want all the programs, all JPEG files to open with Windows Photo Gallery. So I'm just going to change this one. So I double click it and right here I just click Windows Photo Gallery and it takes a second to load. The screen jumps a little bit but you'll see that JPG files, all these files now open with Windows Photo Gallery and I'm going to go to my pictures folder and show you an example. So if I go I go to one of these picture files, right click it, go to properties, I know you can't see that now, but you can see it opens with Windows Photo Gallery. I'm just going to click OK and when I open the picture you can see it opens with Windows Photo Gallery. Hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. Thank you very much.